everyone welcome back to my channel learning with pace in this video i'm going to give you the summary of the last lesson written by alphonse dodi so basically in this chapter whatever the story you will hear is based on the war that happened between france and prussia prussia modern day known as germany that time prussia having the territory of three nations first one germany second one austria and third one poland right but right now these three nations are independent well uh, prussia that time in the war uh, defeated france and remember this war happened between 1870 to 1871 right and during that time period uh, in germany bismarck ottoman bismarck was ruling basically he was the prime minister of germany right and under his rule franco prussian war happened franco means France Prussian means Prussia modern day known as Germany so Prussian people they defeated France and not only that in fact two districts of uh, France that is Alsace and Lorraine passed into the hands of Prussia right now in this chapter you will hear uh, you know two of the characters one is Mr Amel second one is friends Mr Amel is a French teacher and who is rendering the service for the past 40 years and friends is a school going boy he is very little i mean he was a kid and a school going boy learns french at the same time from mr amel now who is the narrator of the story friends is the narrator of the story who is a school going boy now how the story starts so basically story starts with the narrator so narrator is telling us the story that he was getting late for the school and he didn't want to go to the school because he was having a dread dread of scolding why there are two reasons first he was getting late second he was supposed to recite the rules of the participles in the school but he didn't know the first words of the participles that's why he didn't want to go to school one he was getting late second he didn't know the first words of the participles that's why he didn't want to go to the school right now what he decided he decided to spend his day out all right now he looked outside and he came to know that the atmosphere the weather is quite sunny the weather is quite bright at the same time he heard he heard that birds are chirping prussian soldiers are doing their military exercise they were drilling so all these things actually uh, you know uh, tempting uh, friends rather than going to school and reciting the rules of the uh, participles so that's why he decided to stay outside he decided to bunk from the school but since we all are bound to the system if i ask you is it easy to bunk from the school no it's not easy why because we all are bound to the system all right we are bound to the rules and regulations so that's why mr this friends basically this little boy little friends he uh, decided to not bunk from the school later on he decided to go to the school because he is having the strength to resist himself so he hurried off to the school and he was running as fast as he could to reach to the school on time but since he was getting late so while he was on his way there is this place town hall that falls in between so what he observed then in town hall uh, you know many people were gathered there they were uh, they were you know basically this town hall it was crowded why because people uh, went there to read the bulletin board the notice board now this little friends he basically uh, became very flummoxed became very astonished that why this crowd is reading this notice board and at the same time friends is you know uh, reminding all the past history so he says to himself that from the past two years we are hearing bad news from this notice board right well now whatever he is thinking he, but still at the same time he was running to reach to the school at least not on time but yeah he wanted to reach to the school well 
in between uh, while he was running he heard his name being called out by a blacksmith whose name was watcher he also came in town hall to read the bulletin board so watcher came here with his apprentice i mean with his helper but watcher called out friends after reading the bulletin board and in sarcastic tone watcher told friends that do not go so fast bub you have plenty of time to reach to the school it was the sarcastic tone basically but friends could not understand he was very young right he was very little he could not understand at the same time he also did not read whatever is written on the notice board okay well so friends could not understand he thought that watcher is making fun of him but he ignored and he reached to the school as soon as he reached to the school he was out of breath because he was running so he was tired totally tired now he was basically dependent or counted on the commotion on the hustle bustle why because it is our tendency tendency you know whenever we are late we want to reach to a place without being seen so in the similar manner friends thought that you know a uh, teacher i mean mr ml would be busy every student would be busy in their own work so what he would do he would sneak peek and sit on the desk without being seen right but nothing as such happened as soon as he entered the school what he saw everything is still everything is calm okay nobody is making any sort of noise otherwise usually in his school what happens there is great hustle bustle there are different sounds that you can hear out of the school in fact in the street too what kind of uh, sounds uh, friends is telling us so friends is telling us basically three sounds one you can hear the sound of unison method unison method means when student repeat the lessons in uh, you know all together i would say when students repeat the lesson in unison method that means all together when they uh, read out the lesson so this sound can be heard outside the school at the same time his master his teacher uh, mr abel is having a habit to strike the ruler and this sound can also be heard out of the school third students have a habit to open and closing desk so all these bustle can be heard even in the street also right but to his surprise what he saw everybody is sitting calm everybody is doing their work and through his window what he observed that you know not only everybody is sitting quietly in fact everything is so solemn so serious so he had to enter the class in front of everybody that's why he was blushed and frightened now he was blushed because he was ashamed his face became red and that time he was frightened because of the because of uh, the nature of mr amel because mr amel is having a cranky nature well mr amel uh, you know did not rebuke him he very in a gentle tone he uh, replied or said that little friends go and occupy your desk we are about to begin without you well that time uh, you know friends he got surprised that how is not been reprimanded for getting late but it's okay so as soon as mr ml asked friends to occupy the seat that time friends uh you know he jumped on the bench and sat on his desk now later on after a few moment he came out of his fright and he was observing things minutely so he observed a few of the peculiar things for example he observed that his master mr amel is basically wearing special dress the dress that he occasionally wear i mean he wears whenever there is prize distribution day or inspection day his master wearing green coat frilled shirt and a cap of silk cloth black in color all embroidered so he was surprised i mean uh, friends was surprised that why mr amel is wearing this special dress that he wears 
on occasion at the same time he noticed i mean friends noticed that everything is so solemn and mr ml is not striking the ruler in fact he was keeping the ruler he kept the ruler under his arms and one more thing friends noticed usually in his class back benches are always empty but now it is no more empty in the back benches few of the villager they were sitting now you have to mention first one old hoser hoser can be a name or a surname old hoser is sitting at the back in the classroom a postmaster who is retired from his post and a mayor who is retired from his post they were sitting at the back of the benches and this old hoser is having a primer a primer matlab that means uh, a basic book suppose if you want to learn any language you would be having a basic book right so this old hoser was having a primer with him and this primer was thumbed at the edges i mean it was torn out at the edges well now mr amel i mean whatever right now whatever friends is observing meanwhile mr amel mounted on his chair and letting everybody know that today is their last french lesson now mr amel added that since berlin ordered i mean this is the order came from berlin that from now in the schools of alsace and lorraine theek hai from now in the schools of alsace and lorraine so basically in these two districts and in these uh, you know schools nobody is going to teach french language only the german language will be taught right this is the order came from berlin as soon as friends heard this that time it was like a thunder clap into his ears because he was astonished he was surprised he got shocked well he was feeling sorry at the same time why he was feeling sorry he was regretting repenting that why he did not pay attention earlier in the french lessons and he was feeling sorry that rather than i mean friends is feeling sorry that rather than uh, you know learning french language he used to seek birds eggs he used to slide on the river which is sar that is nearby his house well now um as soon as this thought came into friend's mind that uh, he's he's no longer going to see uh, mr ml from now so this thing made him to forget about the cranky behavior of mr ml at the same time he forgot the ruler i mean this ruler basically a frightened ruler it is it is a terrible white ruler everybody used to get frightened right well uh gradually slowly uh, friends came to know that why these village people were sitting behind the back benches i mean sitting uh, at the back so he basically analyzing that they might be feeling sorry now who are they old hoser former postmaster former mayor so he is thinking that they might uh, be basically being sorry like mr uh friends right M little friends i would say so friends is thinking they might be sorry because they are also being regretful that they did not pay attention to the french lessons and they did not go to the school second they might have come to show their respect towards their nation third they might have come to thank our uh, master our teacher mr ml for his faithful service for rendering his faithful service for 40 years now friends was thinking everything right he was thinking about these village people he was thinking about uh, you know not learning the french lessons he was thinking about not paying the attentions towards the french lessons now meanwhile his name was being heard by him so he was called by called out by uh, mr ml so it was his turn to recite the rules of the participles but since i told you earlier that he did not know uh, the first words of the participles right so now it was the turn of friends to recite the rules of the participles 
so he got up but he mixed up the words he got confused and in shameful act you know it was a shameful act basically so he was feeling ashamed that he doesn't know his mother tongue so he hauled up his desk his heart was throbbing and at the same time he did not even dare to look upward so that time he was feeling ashamed he was feeling sorry so mr amel basically consoled him telling him that i won't rebuke you i won't i won't scold you little friends because there are reasons first you always used to say i mean now mr amel is telling little friends that it is not your mistake and i won't scold you why because you are already feeling sorry you have already felt bad enough at the at the same time you always used to say to yourself that i have plen plenty of time so mr amel basically telling friends that it is not you in fact people living in alsace is having this problem they wait till tomorrow to learn and this tomorrow never comes at the same time mr amel says that it is not your fault in fact it is your parents fault and it is mr amel's fault as well because mr amel used to send sometimes uh, friends uh, to water the plants rather than in you know teaching in the class and whenever mr amel is in mood to do the fishing stuff that time also he used to give holidays at the same time mr amel says that friends parents uh, were not serious enough to send him to the school because they used to send friends to mills and farms to earn little extra money so here mr amel is consoling and at the same time he is uh, you know in his emotion he is he is in despair he lost hope because from now he won't be teaching french language but he is telling him that it is not your mistake it is the mistake of all the people belong to alsays well he i mean mr amel added one more beautiful thing he says french language is one of the most beautiful languages in the world now why he said this because according to mr amel french language is the most clear and logical language it is clear clearest and logical language and one more thing he says that whenever you are having your language nobody can enslave you because you are having your identity and people having their identity they can't put into i mean nobody can put them into a prison but if you have your language you have the key to the prison you can come out of the cage you can come out of the prison all right nobody can enslave you nobody why because because you are having your identity and your identity is your mother tongue well now mr amel he wanted to teach participants so he started teaching them grammar and he was teaching them in such a manner as if he wanted to put his knowledge into their head in just one stroke well now after uh, you know after teaching them friends thought i mean you know friends was basically listening to mr ml very keenly very minutely so friends thought uh, that french language is so easy to understand so now uh, basically uh, you know uh, behind this friends had an idea had and had a thought that he learned everything whatever been taught on that particular day why either he was listening properly or mr amel teaching patiently now after teaching grammar lesson it was the writing section they had to complete in writing section friends noticed mr amel he brought new copies and on the new copies alsace lorraine written as if the flags were floating in the classroom but since it was a written work everybody doing their work everybody sitting quietly 
only the sound that can be heard was the scratching of the pan because everybody was writing in fact meanwhile beetles flew in but nobody paid attention at the same time pigeons they were with their claws i mean with their fishing hooks so they were basically uh, scratching the roof as if they are also writing something in french language simultaneously with these uh, uh, you know students uh, writing in classroom well having said that now there is this beautiful point that mr uh, uh, sorry there is this beautiful point that friends came out so basically friends says that he heard the slow uh, voice of pigeon being cooing so they were basically they were cooing right so now friends had a thought into his mind that will these german people with these fellows they would force these pigeons to coo in german language it is a big remark it is a big thought well having said that now as i told you everything was so silent so that time um, friends he looked upward and he looked at mr ml mr ml was sitting motionless he was gazing at everything staring at everything as if he wanted to pictureize for his lifetime he wanted to fix everything into his mind and why not because he rendered his service for 40 years and he was very faithful to his profession and one more thing there is this garden outside his house and the walnut trees that uh, you know grew taller hope vine that twined from window to roof so all this happened in front of mr ml from the past 40 years so he was attached to it mr ml he was attached to it well friends is saying now he could feel the pain of mr ml he could hear that his sister is packing and putting the stuff into the trunks right because on the uh, you know on it suppose this is the area where they are having this uh, uh, classes outside there is this garden and upside up up Uh, at upstairs uh, mr ml lives there well now after writing section here we did grammar section then they came to writing section now they are doing history section now everybody is chanting history right they were reading the papers they were reading the chapters so old hoser he was crying and simultaneously he was reading the chapter but since he was crying his voice trembled right and it sounded too funny so that's why friends says when uh, old hoser was reading out the chapter it sounded too funny so they wanted to laugh at the same time cry well now church clock struck 12 and the prayer started happening that's english that the, that's the prayer it started happening and now after this time uh, as soon as church clock struck 12 so prussian soldiers they were coming they were returning from their drilling having trumpets into their hands it was a hint for everybody that now they should stop teaching french language well mr ml as soon as he heard that church clock struck 12 as soon as he heard the sound of the trumpets he got up and he stood so straight he wanted to tell something but he was choked because he was in his emotion so mr ml before dismissing the class he took the chalk wrote on the black board long live france and he wrote in french language vive la france that means long live france and that time after writing this he put his head i mean mr ml put his head against the wall and he did a gesture that class is dismissed he did not speak a word he did a gesture he did not even look back at the students because his head was resting against the wall so he just did a gesture that now class is dismissed so this was the whole story basically what is the theme theme is that we should respect each other's language we should not impose our language 
and there is this patriotism feeling that you will find in the theme and freedom of language at the same time the linguistic chauvinism behavior of the german people is being shown thank you so much for watching this video if you like my video please share and subscribe thank you